Hello everyone, this is Sahar from Alamkur. In the previous class, we have talked about sexual reproduction in plants. Now, in this class, we are going to talk about sexual reproduction in human beings. Human beings reproduce after attaining puberty. And what is that? It is a period during adolescence when reproductive organ starts developing. So, testis in the male and ovary in the female it will become functional, okay? That is the time of which the reproduction begins. So, during this stage, okay, this reproductive phase, uh, there are some changes in boys and girls. The common change is the hectic hair growth in armpits and genital area. And thinner hair will appear on the legs, arms and face. Then also oily skin and appearance of Pimples, emotional changes for both boys and girls, and also they will grow taller. Public hair, emotional change, underarm, that is armpit hair. Okay. Now, in boys, we have boys change. Okay. The boys will break, will become harder. Then, shoulder get wider, hair growth on face and chest. Testis and penis will get bigger. Testis will start to make sperm. And here we have the base breast will develop, hips will get wider, and menstruation will start. Ovaries will start to release egg cells. So these are the changes during puberty. What is the significance of sexual reproduction? It involves the process of forming DNA from two different individuals. And also it reestablish uh, the number of chromosomes and it will lead to new combination of genes in the gamut. And because of these, it will promote diversity of traits or you can say character, new generation, very important. Next, we'll talk about the human reproductive system. First, male reproductive part, testis. First in is testis, there is it, this is the word testis. Now, it is small pouch, sorry, it is paired, and oval shaped male sex organ. Yes, it is paired and oval shaped. And it consists of semi vestibules where the sperms are produced. So, sperms are produced in semi vestibules. Male sex hormones are called testosterone. Scrotum, it is small pouch that contains the testis. This, this is our scrotum. Okay, it contains testis. And testis, we have seminipelous tibule which produce herbs. Now this sputum, what is, a, is it work? It works as a lowering, as a lowering the temperature because for the sperm to be produced, right, the temperature must be less than the normal body temperature. Next we have vas difference. It is tube-like structure which connects testis to ureter. So it will allow the passage of Semen. Next, we have urine. It is sperm and passes for both sperm and urine. It carries both of them at the same time. It has seminal fluid and nutrition. Next, the prostate gland and seminiferous vesicle. See, this is a vast difference. And this is a seminiferous, sorry, seminal vesicle. And this is our what? Prostate gland. This prostate gland and sem seminal vesicle. The fluid and nutrition will combine with sperm, it will form semen. So from this only the fluid and nutrition will come and it will combine with the sperm and then it will form semen. Here only it will combine with the Next we have the penis. It is external male genital organ. It helps in the transfer of sperm into the vagina or penis during mating population. Next we have sperm. It is tiny and motile body that use their long tail to move to the female reproductive tract. So these all are about the male reproductive system. Next, we'll talk about female reproductive system. In female reproductive part, we have ovary, fallopian tube, or you can say oviduct. And we have cervix, ureter, ureters, then yes, vagina. Okay. Now let's see. Ovaries are paired. We have two ovaries. Oval shaped organ located in abdominal cavity near kidney. They produce thousands of ovarian eggs. Fe uh, secrete 
phenyl six organ called estrogen and progesterone. Next we have oviduct. It is funnel shaped opening near the ovary. It um it carries ovary, ova, and egg from ovary to uterus. Uterus. Okay? Then it is site of fertilization. Very important. The site of fertilization is oviduct or fallopian tube. These open into ureter, uterus from both the sides. Then uterus or bone, it is hollow, pure shaped, bag like structure. Here, only the growth and development of the fetus will take place. The baby, unborn baby, will take place. Okay. Cervix, it is the lower and narrower portion of uterus, okay, which opens into the vagina. Now, this vagina, it will receive sperms from the male partner. It serves as birth canal. Now, let's talk about the fertilization. Fertilization means the fusion of the sperm, right, male gamete, with the ovum, female gamete. So, how will, does this happen? The male gamete, right, sperm will mature and uh, from the penis, it will uh, get inside the vagina through mating and the Inside the vagina, uh, vagina after that, it will reach fallopian tube where this there will be ova, and here we'll be having the sperm which will reach from here, here. Then both will fuse. Okay, then they'll form zygote, and zygote will undergo mitotic division. It will form embryo, and this embryo will shrink and reach into soft declining of uterus. The embedding, embedding of the embryo in thick lining of uterus is called implantation. And after that, it will develop into fetus. And one more thing, during pregnancy, what will happen? There will be disc shaped like tissue called placenta, right, which will connect the ure uretine wall and the embryo, and it will form finger-like projection called belly towards the embryo. So this will create large surface area for exchange of glucose oxygen between mother and the child, okay, mother and the embryo. Mm, the developing embryo will also generate waste, which will be removed by transferring them into mother's blood to placenta. So this development of the child inside the mother's body, it will take up to Right, approximately nine months in humans. Strong rhythmic muscular contraction in the uterus help in the childbirth. Okay. Now let's talk about the menstruation. In females, this menstruation occurs. So first thing first, here we have ovum. Here the ovum, the egg will mature and get released. Then after that, endometrium will be developed. Right. The endometrium is black tissues, thick lining. If if the egg meets up with the sperm, then there will be fertilization. If no mating is there, no sperm is there, then the end, endometrium will be shed. Okay, so blood will flow. So this is called menstruation. Again, it will start. The egg will mature and it will be released. Then endometrium will be developed. Then what will happen if um, egg is um, egg meets the sperm? Then the endometrium will not be shed. But if sperm is not there, then endometrium will be shed. And this is called menstruation. It is a phase. Menstruation is a phase of uterine bleeding in which unfertilized and thick uterine lining it occurs through vagina as blood and mucus. And it will last for three to five days. And the ova in the ovaries, right? Ovum is released once every 28 days. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye bye.